let's try an example to design for a tensile splice connection. The question asks us to determine the design resistance of the connections for this tensile splice. The plates are made of S275 steels. A series of bolt holes are created. Two cover plate is used to connect two steel plates. The thickness of the steel plates is 14 mm, and the thickness of the cover plate is 6 mm. There will be tensile force acting on the connections, and the positions of the bolt hole are located as indicated in the diagram. There are two ways to connect the connections. First is to use non preloaded bolt of the diameter of 20 mm class 4.6 and the second one is the pre-stressing bolts of the diameter of 16 mm class 8.8. We will need to calculate separately for the two types of connections. It is assumed that for both cases here, the shear plane will pass through the untreated portions of the boat. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. These are the calculation steps to check for the tensile splice. First, we need to check for the dimensions which are the edge distance and the spacing of the tensile splice. Referring to table 3.3 .3 in Eurocode 3 part 8, the requirement for the spacing and edge distance of the tensile splice is given here. From here, we need to determine the E1, E2 and P1, P2. E1, P1 is longitudinal to the directions of the tensile force while E2 and P2 will be perpendicular to the force. Based on the diagram here, we will know that E1 and E2 are both 35 mm and P1 and P2 are both 70 mm. This is to be checked against the minimum requirement of 1.2 times the diameter of the boat hole and 2.2 and 2.4 times the diameter of boat hole. To obtain the diameter of the boat hole, we need to know the size of the boat. The boat size is 20 mm and it is a non preloaded boat. Check for the clearance of the boat hole for the standard boat. The clearance will be equal to 2 mm. With that, the size of the boat hole will be equal to 20 mm plus a clearance of 2 mm, which is equal to 22 mm. Taking the size of the boat hole equals to 22 mm, the E1, E2, P1, P2 is checked against a minimum size of 1.2, 2.2 and 2.4 times the DO, which is the size of the bolt hole. All of the proposed dimension pass the minimum requirement. Next, we need to check for the maximum spacing and edge distance which is defined by the thickness of a thinner plate either 8 times or 14 times and a constant number of 125 or 200 mm from the figure here we will know that the T here it will be equals to 6 mm the E1, E2, P1, P2 are checked against the maximum limit of 8T or 14T or 125 and 200mm. It is later found to be acceptable, fulfilled within the limits of the minimum and maximum. Next, we check for the shear resistance of the boat.
The equations to determine the shear resistance of the boat are given here. It is stated that the shear plane passed through the untreated portions of the boat. With that, this equation is being used. The A here is the gross cross-sectional area of the boat. Gamma M2 will be equal to 1.2. The ultimate tensile capacity of the boat for the strain class of 4.6 is equal to 400 newton per mn square. This table can be obtained from table 3.1 Eurocode 3 part 8. Substitute the relevant value into the equations. You will obtain the shear resistance of the boat for one shear plane equals to 60.2 kN. From the diagram here, every single boat will have two shear planes. There are four boats installing on one of the plate there. That means the total shear plane will be equals to 4 times 2. This will give a total shear resistance of 482.4 kN for the connection. Next, we need to calculate for the bearing resistance of the steel plate. The bearing resistance of the steel plate is determined based on the equation here. The D here will be the side of the boat. The T here will be the thickness of the steel plate. In checking the bearing resistance of the steel plate, theoretically we will need to check for every single plate. That means we need to calculate for the bearing resistance for several times, at least for this plate and also this plate, since the other sets are identical. Taking the principles of static equilibrium, the force here it will be equals to the summations of force acting on the two plates here. It can be imagined as if there are two plates, one made of 14 mm, another one made of 6 mm plus 6 mm, a total of 12 mm. To simplify the calculation step, we can adopt the 6 mm plus 6 mm because the total summation of it equals to 12 mm is actually less than 14 mm steel plate. In terms of the failing of the bearing resistance, it is most likely that the cover plate will fail before the steel plate being connected. With that, we can just check for the cover plate. Based on the assumption here, now the T here it will be equals to 12 mm. The factor of safety here will be equals to 1.25. And the FU here is referring to the ultimate strength of the steel plate. It is stated that the steel plate is made of S275 grade, referring to table 3.1 in Eurocode 3, grade 275. When the thickness of the plate is less than 40 mm, the FU will be equals to 430 newton per mm square. Next, we need to determine the factor K1 and alpha B. These factors are distinguished in terms of the end boat or the internal boat or the edge boat or the inner boat. To simplify the calculations, the minimum value of all and the minimum value of O for K1 and the alpha B are being adopted. Based on the calculation just now, we assume that the steel plate here is equal to 12 mm. 
as if the combinations of the two cover plate together. This will represent the bearing resistance for a bolt hole. A total of four bolts are applied. The calculated bearing resistance based on the equations is to be multiplied by four. This will give a total bearing resistance of 437.6 kN. Next, we need to check for the tensile resistance of the steel plate. Referring to this slide, the equation used is this. We need to determine the plastic tensile resistance of the plate and also the ultimate tensile resistance of the effective cross sections. Back to the diagram here. The load acting on the connections will be a force acting in these directions on the steel plate and two force which is equals to half of this force is acting on the other directions on the cover plate. Again, theoretically we need to check for the tensile resistance of every single plate since the summations of the cover plate is obviously thinner than the steel plate, we know that the tensile resistance of the connections will be governed by the cover plate. With that, we can simply assume an imaginary cover plate of the thickness of 12mm to be compared with the 14mm thickness of the steel. Determine the width of the plate, which is the summations of 35, 70 and 35. The gross area of the steel plate will be equals to the width multiplied the 12mm thickness of the cover plate. It is later to be multiplied with the specified yield strength of the steel plate divided by partial factor of safety gamma m node which is equals to 1.0 the fy is determined from table 3.1 for grade s275 thickness less than 40 mm the fy will be equals to 275 next we need to determine the ultimate tensile resistance of the steel plate which is governed by the net effective cross-sectional area. The area here is to be minus 2 units of bolt which is determined by the size of the bolt multiply the thickness of the plate. The width of the hole will be equals to the bolt size 20mm plus clearance of 2mm. And the thickness of the plate here now is assumed to be 12mm. Minusing the two bolt hole we obtain a net. And refer to table 3.1 for the FU which is equals to 430 Newton per mm square. Apply into the equations, you will obtain the ultimate tensile resistance of the plate. The smaller value is adopted. This is later to be found to be equals to 356.7 kN. For the questions A, non preloaded boat was being used. Therefore, we do not need to check for the slip resistance of the connections. Next, we look into the calculations for the part B, where pre-stress boot diameter of 16mm class 8.8 .8 is being used. You will need to restart the calculation steps here. The calculation step 1 to 3 are basically similar as discussed just now, except the property of the boats are different. You may follow through the calculation step to determine the maximum and minimum spacing and edge distance.
to determine the shear resistance of the boat in accordance to its class and also to check for the bearing resistance of the steel plate. When come to the step 4 to check for the tensile resistance of the steel plate, this equation is being applied. The air net here will be calculated based on the cross sections minus the size of the boat hole times 2 units of the boat hole. The FU will be the FU of the steel plate as referred from table 3.1 in Eurocode 3. Substitute the value, you will obtain the tensile resistance of the steel plate. Next, there is one more step to check for the slip resistance of the connections, which is referring to this slide. First, you need to determine the FPC. Within the FPC, there are FU boat and also the effective area of the boat. The questions mention that the boat class of 8.8 .8 is being used. From the table here, we know that FUB will be equals to 800 Newton per mm square. The questions mentions are using the boat diameter of 16 mm. The AS for the boat will be equals to 157. Let's say now we are designing for the ultimate limit state. The factor gamma M3 will be equals to 1.25. Assuming the surface class A is being used, the mu is equals to 0 0.5 and K is equals to 1.0 for normal boat hole. A total of 4 boats are applicable in the connections. The eta here will be equals to 4. Based on the setup of the connections, there will be 2 shear plane per boat. The eta equals to 4 is to be multiplied with 2 equals to 8. Substitute the relevant value into the equations, you will get the design slip resistance. The question asks us to calculate for the design resistance of the connections. With that, you need to ensure this must be passed and the strength of the connections will be the smallest value of the step 2, 3, 4 and 5. For the case which is non-preloaded boats, the strength of the connections it will be equals to the smallest value of steps 2, 3 and 4.